and young, hola and hi. Welcome back, yes back, to my channel. Okay, so today I'm going to be making a circle skirt out of some fabric that I got from my place of work. It's going to be so cute. When you guys see the fabric, I hope you guys are going to be so amazed. Please, bear with me. It is Black History Month. I will do all I can to show what I love about Black History. And if that means making a circle skirt out of something that I consider the height of Black Beauty, then I'm going to do it. So first let's start off with making the, or calculating the pattern. Let's go. Okay. Let's just tuck that in the door. So here's my fabric. Um, I only have uh, two meters of this 2.1875 yards I usually work with yards inches is so much easier for me Canadian ship be damned um, but yes I only have this many yards which is annoying but I have two meters um, a gracious and lovely customer bought this for me. She was so sweet. She's one of my um, favorite customers. But anyways, I digress. So my waist is 36 inches wide. And I want my skirt to be at the very most or the very yeah at the very most 26 in length I want it to kind of go over my knees so in order to do that because I only have two meters I'll have to completely spread out the fabric and here's where the salvages are and then I'd have to make two half basically half skirt with Half of my as 18 inches so these would need to be let's see because I, I can't remember right now so these need to be nine inches each um, and then I can get my length right here trying to make it 26 all around I'll have to make a pattern for that which is gonna be pretty easy I personally think at least But yeah, here are kind of the basic plans. So I'm going to use this fabric and let's start making the pattern. Okay. okay, so I kind of changed up my idea. Instead, I'm going to be doing quarter. I'm going to fold the, well, I'm going to keep the fo fabric folded in its natural um, state that it's a, it is on the bolt. 
and I'm going to cut right here and where the fold is effectively making three pieces at quarter length um, at 5.09 inches for the waist area and I'm thinking about instead of doing a 28 I'm cutting out 28 inches and making it about 27 inches long with the salvage included and everything and yeah so now I'm going to actually make the pattern there we go Okay, so I lied. As you can see, I just ended up with um, this. I made a 29 by 29 inch square, and then I folded it in half um, diagonally, and I made the circle skirt pattern from there. And that's basically what I did with the wrapping paper. And do not worry, any wrapping paper that was not used or this project was just rolled up and put into storage for the next project that is small enough for it. Don't worry, I never waste my paper. Trust me. Okay, yeah, so I just made a couple of marks on the wrapping paper here and there just so I knew where I could um, kind of create the stencil and then cut it out and then I immediately went towards my fabric. Here I started getting a little bit uh, scared so I started uh, ca doing some calculations and then immediately went to a completely different fabric to do a quick mock-up, uh, cut that out and I realized that I would have enough fabric for any extra panels and I did need extra panels trust because I am a thick girl mm. but yeah I <laughs> made sure I had extra panels and then I started on my actual fabric. Of course, after a quick midday Bible read, of course. <laughs> now here I always um, do a shallow cut with my ruler cutter just before um, I cut with my scissors just because I don't have a cutting mat yet and I do not want to ruin my floors until I have a better cutting mat I'll just keep doing this for my videos well a bigger cutter mat if anything cutter mat shade a little less and just put that to the side and so here is where I end up finding my new panels uh, I'm correct I got two panels out of this, but I ended up only using one, really. Now, as you can see here, I do not use pins. I just kind of line up as I go. It's just a habit that I've created for myself. One day it may get me in trouble, but it it's just honestly, I don't feel I need pins while using a sewing machine. Don't get angry at me, please. <laughs> Now we're just going to use some of the leftover fabric just to quickly make some pockets because um, pockets with skirts are where it's at. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, corporate Canada. That sounds so awkward coming out of my mouth. But anyways, yeah, um, it was pretty simple just to create these pockets out of the scraps. Simple fold, find here and there. Nothing new.
So here I'm just taking the fabrics, um, making sure the good sides are facing together from the pockets and just so I know like exactly where it, to put it, I also make sure to measure like what the other side is going to have to be like to match it. And yes, I did pin here, but I only pinned one each side and then I sewed down the pockets and then flipped them out so that I was able to sew the pockets out like this. The whole thing, I'm not really doing this to show you guys how to make this skirt. I'm just really just doing this just to make the skirt. I really enjoyed making the skirt. Now, I did a sharp turn here because I really like the way that um, a pocket feels when it's seamless, kind of round edge a little. Um, and so I just wanted to make sure that I didn't have any like weird corners. I hate when I find like lint in like the very, very corner of a pocket. So yeah, I just made sure it had more of a round edge instead of a, um, you know, you know what I mean, like a rough corner. And then I just kept um, sewing from there, made sure everything was lining up. Because as you see, I do not use pins, you guys. I really, I don't need pins. And you guys are going to see something later. I know it's going to piss you guys off. But I promise you, it was because my cut was not straight that the fabric ends up kind of underlapping or over underlapping I guess I could say underlapping um you'll see it just coming up in just a moment right here I promise it's because it was not cut properly even see at the end right there it's just a little too long and a little too wide so I made sure to sew it correctly I promise you guys see this is me correcting my mistake on cutting it incorrectly, just trimming it down. It's that simple, you guys. I promise. I, I, I'm not being extra. Okay, so I'm just quickly um, making my nice little edge and here's the other place that I'm using pins because if I'm being honest I'm not Superman and I'm not perfect I, I need pins for at least the um, seam allowance on the bottom so I just made sure to do this all around the bottom of the skirt before sewing it and then I took an old coat and I ripped out the zipper if you don't believe me, here's the part that's all torn up. But yes, I just ripped up the zipper so I can use it for the back of the skirt. And I also thought that I'd really like um, my skirt to have a kind of back tie element. So I created my own bias tape with what I had left of the fabric and created a nice um, kind of rim for my the upper part of my skirt. collected a couple of those I created them into the bias tape and sewed them on as you can see here and I just kept going until it made a nice little sash that I could tie it back
And here is the reason that I hate using pins, you guys. I always have to keep stopping. But unfortunately, this was the third and last place that I needed pins just for the top hem part of the skirt. Um, the reason that I left this uh, part raw was because I just simply had to roll the sash over the top of the skirt and it would completely hide that raw part and also still look very cute. But, mm, see, the stopping and starting, this is why I don't like using pins, you guys. Okay, you guys, and that's it. Look at it, it's so flowy and so nice. <laughs> now, because I do love the cut and length of this skirt, I will be making it permanent by tracing the stencil that I made or pattern that I made onto some scrap leather vinyl. I want to be able to use this over and over and over again, you guys. I'm so happy with this. What are you doing to her? She asked again. Skirts with pockets are where it's at. More skirts need to have pockets. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge.